Hello and welcome to Heist at Hilbert's High Rose Hotel. Uh, <clears throat> hello and welcome to Heist at Hilbert's High Rose Hotel, a Thief Two Fan mission by Trefoil Knots. This one, unlike, is uh, this one states it is more of a puzzle mission, which is uh, going to be a change of pace. Uh, which means I'm going to have to probably try it a little more slowly and carefully. Because the mission is puzzle oriented as its core thing, I'm going to try and solve the puzzles rather than look for hints. Uh, and that might make things slower than usual. Bachelor's, Master's, or a Doctorate, I mean, uh, well, let us begin and then make our final difficulty choice when we see the objectives. To ponder it is to know curiosity. To study it is to know futility. To understand it is to know madness. On Infinity from Archmage Cantor's Resignation Letter. A while back I was contacted by an old associate, Keeper Zermelo. He had a job for me. He wanted me to steal a magical gem known as the Aleph Stone, which is currently on display in the Omega Gallery atop Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. I'm not usually eager to run errands for the Keepers, so I just said I'd take it under advisement. Keepers rarely offer to pay, and the Omega Gallery is well known for its state-of-the-art security system. In short, it didn't seem worth the risk. But word on the street is that the hotel's alarm system is currently down. And as they're sure to get it fixed soon, I don't want to miss my window. This might be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And after all, it can't hurt to have a keeper who owes you a favor. While I'm there, I should be able to pinch more than just the olive stone and some assorted trinkets. The Omega Gallery also hosts additional treasures. The Builder's original hammer and chisel, and a rare collection of gems known as the Platonic Crystals. In the right hand, they could fetch quite the price. The alarm system is down, but tonight's heist will still prove quite the challenge. The gallery's most precious artifacts are no doubt protected most securely, not to mention the hotel has shuttered its usual operations, so posing as a guest is out of the question. But since when do I need a warm welcome to pull off a job? No point in waiting. It's time to begin. You're always a little skeptical when the Keepers send you on these wild goose chases. Find out why the Aleph Stone is so important. Keeper Zermelo says the Aleph Stone will be on display in the gallery. Find it and make it yours. Temporarily before you make it the Keepers, I suppose. While you're in there, might as well get something for your trouble. Say, 6,000 in loot? 6,000? Okay. All those nobles and servants can taff off, but they don't deserve to die. Don't kill anyone unarmed. This heist won't do you any good if you can't get yourself out of there. When you finish, head back out through the front gate. Uh, 7,000 on expert, and of course don't kill anyone. Uh, oh, we have a don't kill anyone unarmed even on bachelor's difficulty. And 5,000 loot. Well, let's stick with the uh, masters. The other, the other, it's not mentioned here, but the other difference between difficulty levels, according to the readme, is the uh, number of hints is like, I don't know exactly what they mean by hints. Um, I assume they mean like readables, I'm, I'm guessing they mean like readables and stuff in the mission that kind of talk about the various puzzles. Um, so let's stick with Masters. Uh, I don't want to be uh, scratching my head too much over the puzzles and I definitely want my usual uh, if I need to I can attack guards kind of uh, full bank strategy even though I said I'm going to be a little more slower and more patient you know you've you've seen well you've probably seen some of my other missions you probably know how quickly I can uh, fuck up my sneaking <laughs> let's begin Right. 
start off with uh, very dramatic music. I do hope this won't get uh, flagged up on YouTube, because it'll be very hard to separate the game sound from the music. Uh, there is no map. Okay. That's a slight disappointment. Upstairs or downstairs? Now they said the security was going to be off, right? How off is off? Oh, I have just lockpicks. Not, not two separate ones. That's an odd thing to do. This music won't give me copyright flags, this is Thief. I'm not sure what the source of the other one is. Due to a missing 8 ball, the pool table will be out of order until further notice. We apologise for any inconvenience. I suppose I can find the 8 ball and do something about that. Wow, everybody's. Everybody here is slushed. Uh, the question is, is they going to be hostile to me? I don't know, I probably better guess yes. Especially if I'm sneaking over the bar to steal anything of value. Like uh, a couple of bottles of wine. A few more bottles of wine. Well, it's very, very nice of the mission author to make the... Um, the non-valuable wine, non-probable. Well, they didn't react to that sound at all, so maybe they're not even going to react to seeing me. Well, that's not a door. Looks like there should be something up there, right? There's... there's... They might react to me pulling on a weapon. So let's not do that where they can see. But, you know, somebody climbing up a rope, that's not suspicious at all. Oh, so I can open it from this side. Hello, a few more valuable bottles of wine. Barrels of valuable wine if I could carry them. Anything on top of any of these shelves? On top of these rafters. Oh, I could get up there or pull down. Interesting. Oh, maybe I actually can't get up there. I don't see any wood. I could get on that beam, but then I, it's not enough for me to actually get to. Uh, to mantle up there. Anything on these shelves? No. I can't close the door again. Well, never mind. I am certainly not spring ghosting this. Oops. Oh, let's see. Uh, Pool cues on the rack, which I can interact with for some reason. I guess I need an eight ball. Perhaps a magic one that will tell me what to do. Oh, let's keep going down. Oh, I tried that already. Let's not keep going down. Notice, we regret to inform you that due to unforeseen circumstances, we are not currently accepting new guests. Existing guests of our Omega Suites are welcome. All others, please come back at a later date. Unwelcome entry will be dealt with swiftly. While we appreciate how frustrating this may be, please understand that the safety and security of our guests is, and must remain, our top priority. Please enjoy a drink at the Belching Barrack below the hotel. Warmest regards, Sir Riemann, Chief of Staff, Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. statue. 
I am the muse of the four seasons. I keep watch here eternal, hiding secrets of the winter, summer, fall, and vernal. Forever do I bathe in the lights of the nocturnal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? There's a panel at the side. On the back. Oh, okay, there's snow. A leaf. I can't see anything on there. And on the front is a flower. Is there really nothing on the side there? Oh, there's a very, very faint circle. A sun, maybe? Yeah, it's a sun. Hmm. Makes me think. What if I fired water arrows, moss arrows, gas arrows, and fire arrows into those or something? I don't know. There's, there's probably nothing quite so noisy or wasteful as that. But clearly there is something up with that statue. Uh, I oh, that's the door I wanted. I could try being sneaky. I could pretend I missed him on purpose. Hmm. Is it worth it? I think if I'm going to be uh, running around trying to solve puzzles, I'm not actually sure it's worth trying to be sneaky. Another statue. Very large. Banners everywhere. I'll probably start chopping them down at some point, but you know, I don't need to begin with vandalism. Somebody sleeping on the job. I hear uh, another guard wandering about. Sleep well. What does it tell us? Hilbert's High Rise Hotel, Luxury Omega Suites. Looking to upgrade your stay? Ask about our Omega Suites luxury packages. Distinguished guests of our Omega Suites enjoy premium amenities including the Super Task High Speed Elevator, private balconies, and 24 hour exclusive access to the Omega Gallery. Unlike the rest of our rooms, Omega Suites are in finite supply. There are four suites corresponding to the four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Don't delay, upgrade your stay now. Our economy guests will have to take the stairs. Wait, your, your normal rooms are, are infinite? That's, that's impressive. I don't want to see him underneath the counter there. Oh, that's the way the Omega Suites, but uh, how do I get in there? Guess the answer might be for now that I don't. Staff only. Can I pick that? Not with loot. Nope. All these very all these floors that look very like very much like there would be tile that are not. Hello? Oh, we have guards wandering around. I think he had a key on him too. Nope. He almost had a thief impaled on his sword. Well, let's be a little bit sneaky. It's a long way up. I'm guess better off looking for another way around. Guest floors, one to infinity. Well, I guess they do have infinite normal rooms. And I can't pick that, can I? Oh, I can. I want to see these infinite rooms, no matter what you say about finding another way around, Garrett. My uh, unprofessional curiosity, which, you know, may not... Uh, 
may perhaps get me into trouble. I mean, look, they can't possibly have infinite floors, right? That's two. Three. Four. I'm not going to find what I'm looking for this way. I need to find a better way than this. Five. Come on, Gary, it's just a few stairs. You don't need to take the lift, surely. Six. Seven. How many floors can there really be, right? Eight. Nine. Ten. It's gonna make exciting watching. Eleven. Well, actually, I just realized that this could be an interesting, uh... Hmm, if I could get a little further back, it could be an interesting screenshot. But quite different from the usual. Uh, I've lost track. Was this 11 or was that 12? Oh, I don't know. Maybe 12? Maybe 11? Let's call this one 12. And um, we keep going. 13. Well, that's the unlucky floor. Except for they're all unlucky. 14, because I can't get into any of them. 15. 16. Hang on. Oh, 17. Oh, I was counting them for us. Okay. Good, good, good. We didn't notice that last time. I can stop counting. 18. Well, it'll keep counting aloud. 19, 20, so this is floors 1 to infinity, they said, right? How, how much higher than, uh, how many, how many is it between 20 and infinity? Garrett's not very good at maths. Can't be that many, right? Less than 100, surely. 21, 20, 22, Twenty-three. See, you'd think if they twenty-four. This is a high-rise hotel, indeed. Like, imagine, imagine being a guest on this like twenty-fifth floor and having to go up the stairs all the time, or worse, on the infinity floor. It'd take you forever to get down. Uh, right. Okay, I think I think Garrett might have been right when he said uh, he's not going to find what he's looking for this way. We need to get to the gallery, which is above. Hmm. Hmm. The Aleph Stone. I'm, I'm kind of getting the uh, understanding of the name now as well. I'll wait till Garrett figures it out. Uh, yeah, so if, if this is floors 1 to infinity, and the, um, the gallery is above them, so at the top. So that means it is literally impossible for us to get there in finite time by taking the stairs. We need... We need to uh, break the system. Floor 35, that'll do. Let's go back down again.
let's uh, give up on going by the stairs. Okay, it would take uh, rather longer than I have time on this planet. I like that though. It's already setting a uh, setting a mood for the, this that I appreciate. This super task elevator is for our distinguished Omega Suite guests only. Please use your suite key to call the elevator. All other visitors, please use the stairs to access your room. Entry to the gallery is reserved for our Omega Suite guests and special events. Please see the front desk to inquire about pricing availability. Sir Riemann, Chief of Star Staff, Hilbert's High Rose Hotel. So I bet I can't pick that, right? Yeah. So I'm going to need an Omega Suites guest key card to get in. All right. Let's make a note. Maybe I should have booked in as guest. See where this can take me. Wait, wait. This is the stairs I came up, isn't it? I can't remember. Did I come from here or did I come from there? I remember some stairs, something like this, but I don't know if they're these ones exactly. Okay, no, I haven't been here. Oh, what's this place? Just an ordinary lift. High speed lift brought to you by. I couldn't finish reading it. Okay, the guard won't see me now. High speed lift brought to you by Supertask, guaranteed to allow you to transverse to traverse infinite distances in a finite amount of time. Weight limit: twelve hundred pounds. Uh, okay. How come I can access this one without the key? Penthouse or lobby? Penthouse. Let's check out the penthouse. Wow, there's a. Not just a uh, finite amount of time, it was a very short finite amount of time. Oh, we've got guards here too. Emergency power reset. That could be handy. Don't know if I need it yet. If I do, it's unlocked. Hmm. I don't know what I did. Guess I'm not getting in there just yet. Oh, that's a fancy chandelier. Ah, oh, already doors. So, so tough. All right. Back to the lobby. We need something more to gain access to the penthouse. You are seeing things. Guess not, it's nothing now. Not real things either. Okay. Pool. Note to all Omega Suite guests: the Infinity Pool is to remain closed until the hotel returns to full operations. Warning: until the ongoing security issues have been resolved, invisible but deadly barriers have been erected around the sides of the pool. The hotel shall not be held liable for any injury sustained by guests venturing where they ought not to go. Sir Riemann, Chief of Staff, Hilbert's High Rise Hotel, and Eric Jeffy, Old Squire, General Counsel, Hilbert's High Rise Hotel. Yeah, uh, the lawyer thinks that's enough. Okay. Visible but deadly barriers around pool. I wish this was left aligned. Like, although, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure New Dark has an option to make it left aligned. He's coming. Okay, let's wait for him to come and go. I should go and turn on that option to make the text left aligned. That way I don't have to complain about it each and every time I try to take notes about them being center aligned. If only I could remember such things when I'm not trying to take notes. Ugh. Okay, these steps are a little too high. 
I mean, they're like one unit steps, which means you can't crouch walk up them reliably. Yeah, I'm laughing at you now. Alright, well, back here in the lobby. As it's the staff only room I can't access. I guess we see what, what we've got up this way. Fancy windows. A dining area. Oh, hello. It's just the entrance. Yeah, it's just looking over the entrance. Okay. That's a. Uh... See, that feels like a small old door, but maybe not. It's just something about the perspective. Well, let's try these stairs. They're certainly not infinite. over the uh, main hall. I'm really not being my usual self. I haven't cut down a single banner yet. Oh. Okay, this is a problem. I have nowhere to go that isn't a locked door I can't access, it seems. Have I missed something? I mean, the answer there is almost certainly yes, right? But, what and where? Well, I missed these. That's that's good. Eight hundred. What was total? Six thousand. Oh, it's optional. All right, that's nice. But there's obviously a lot of loot around. There's the upstairs here, which I don't seem to be able to access just now. This fellow didn't happen to have a key or anything on him, did he? No. the other one I knocked out. I don't think so. One down at the entrance. No, no keys there either. Okay. So where to now? Like, I could get to the penthouse. But, um, it's not going to do me much good. I could get... I was, I was able to go up there. Or there, maybe. <laughs> well, I could try jumping across that. It feels like it'd be not very possible. I can't even mantle that, so it's a very unsafe procedure. Which means I might not, because I can't mantle it from this side, I'm not sure I could mantle it from this side either. <sighs> well, I can, okay. Found a secret, alright, some nicely hidden stuff. Oh, wait, is that the entrance? Yeah, that's the entrance. With the guard I knocked out. So where are these footsteps I'm hearing coming from? I don't seem to be able to open that door. There's no guards out there. Maybe, maybe there's footsteps in that gallery there. Okay, so I could get down here by getting onto this gargoyle and those ones. That would be uh, preferable to coming this way because that would be a bad drop. I can't stand properly on this, so I can't crouch. Oh, there I can. So the dropping onto the gargoyle head is fraught. Very fraught. Alright, uh, a little careful creeping. Where are those footsteps coming from? That's definitely a uh, room brush leak. Never mind. Alright, that was safe enough to drop. Hmm. 
Uh, oh, I just had a thought. So there are guests at the, at the pub below, right? And they don't mind me being there. It is possible. It is quite possible that some of them are... Oh, no, it's this way. Are actually Omega guests, right? Seems unlikely, but possible. Maybe maybe one of them is there. How's a guest card lift? Well, how do you know? Well, it's an unspecified key. Uh, it's another mission with key rings, which means I get keys and I don't know what they are or where they're for, which is... <clears throat> my throat a bit. Sorry about that. Which is unfortunate. Um, especially when there's lots of locked doors like this. Oh, that's the front gate. Well, I have a key. Maybe that is the key for the elevator, if he was an Omega sweet guest. Perhaps that will get me not to the penthouse, but, but, to, but to his floor. If I can remember which way the elevator was. I mean, it's not a staff key, right? The elevator was up here where there's a patrolling guard. And it's at the left hand end of the corridor, so I should wait till he's coming the other way. There's very, not very dark looking corners, but they are very, functionally very dark. But on the other hand, this place seems pretty visible, or more visible where it's well lit than the last mission I played, so. Not too many complaints about the lighting then. Nope. Alright. So where does that key let me go? No, not in here. <laughs> not going up there again. Um... So I guess have a key, but it doesn't let me get to the elevator. Maybe I'm merely a finite room guest. Okay, well there was another locked door up this passage, so I guess I should try it. The key didn't have any kind of description, so... I'm basically just trying it at random right now. It's just not seeming like a uh, uh, particularly good strategy. That is really all I've got right now. Maybe it'll work for the penthouse. It won't work here, right? Oh, it's just closed. Let's go back to the penthouse. Surely he's not from, doesn't, you know, he didn't look rich enough to have hired the penthouse, but I can try. It doesn't take very long to traverse it. Whew, that's gross. Oh yeah, that's a switch. There's no lock here. It doesn't take very long to traverse an infinite number of floors with the lift. So, it doesn't take too long to experiment. Okay, so that was a dead end. It's not the key for here, right? Let's try that. And... This gate. Well, that's not very good. Can't get between the table, the desk and the thing. This gate is... Well, double gate, actually. Doesn't have a lock. Alright, so I thought I was onto something and maybe it wasn't onto anything. This is not a uh, very promising start. That's just the Oh, there's the basement down here. Let's check if it let's check if it gives me access to the kind of the basement door, the utility room or whatever it is. Again I didn't think it was staff there, but yeah, who knows? Kevel's key. Okay. I guess it does. Wait. 
Have I been here already? No, I guess not. What have we got? A sponge, alright. Gear. Various tools that uh, Garrett is not interested in. I guess this is Kevl's room. And his pitiful stash of money pitifully hidden. Uh, might as well check these beams, you know. Oh, and then I guess I should read the note afterwards. Well, if I'm really going to check the beams, I need to actually see properly above them. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. But there's a note. Cavill, I know it's your night off, but the master is in one of his moods again. Please see to it that the following is taken care of quickly. 1. Rewire the alarm button in the security office. 2. Deactivate the automatic door button to the staff only area. It overrides the door lock when held down. 3. Clean up the mess in the Aleph Stone exhibit. 4. Board up all access points to the penthouse's upper west wing, including the atrium windows. Apologies for intruding on your night off, but, yours, but for your sake, don't disappoint. The master's not been himself of late, and you do not want his ire. In case you forgot the penthouse access code, I've hidden the sequence in your task list. Note the dots slash dashes are. I see dots and dashes, right. One, two, three, four. Two dots, dash, dash, two dots. Uh, I don't know how to make sense of that, but maybe I can figure it out. Can I pick up this note? I can. All right, important. Definitely the automatic door button to the staff only area because it overrides the door lock when held down. That is something I can use immediately. I guess this is the security room or something. What have we got? Elevator power control, do not touch. Why not? Check the ladder in a minute. Where is this taking? We have Lime Away and instructions. Grease, grime, mineral buildup. Make all of these woes a thing of the past with Lime Away. Simply apply to the dirty surface, wait for the bubbles, and then wash away with a little water. Voila! Caution keep away from eyes and mouth in case of accidental ingestion. Contact your local mortician immediately. And the door I can't open. Alright. Well, if I need to clean up any grease or grime, I can do so. Well, I should probably leave the elevator power on, right? Unless I actually have a reason to switch it off. Which I don't, yeah, as of yet. I don't want to get Kevin in too much trouble. A very hard, narrow thing. Is this the same keyword here? Ah, uh, okay. So it's the same same access point. All right. Um, staff only door. Staff only door. Back downstairs. This one. Overrides the door lock when held down. You say. So it does. Cunning. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake, isn't it? All right, so from here we can see into the wine cellar. Oh, it shuts itself. All right, but I know I can, that's no problem. I know I can open it again when I need to. Kevl's key doesn't work there. Does my lockpicks work there? No, what is this place? Hotel administration. All right, well, I've, I'm sure I'll have to come back there later. Hello, footsteps. Aha, uh -huh, I got Oh, well, he shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, we're up here. What's that I see? Security office, okay. Okay. Calm down. There's nothing there. Oh, there's a lot more places to go there. The office isn't even locked. Let's 
surprised you would be in relative darkness when I open it so I can see where the guard, what the guard is up to. He's just walking back and forth and back and forth. What was it they were asking Kibble to do? Rewire the alarm button. Well, I'm not sure I want that. Doesn't sound like a good thing for me. Right, I think he's going to have to go to sleep. It's a little too... Uh... Oh, look, he's got a fancy pattern on his shirt. A little too tight a patrol for my liking, so he can just rest here. That's not very secure in the security office. Uh, alarm button. Well, I guess I don't push the... Right. It would... Oh, there's another door in here. I completely missed. Would have been much easier to access. Alright. So, uh, safe. It looks like a safe. Do we have a switch or anything that might open it? We have banners. I can try chopping down. Which doesn't work. And that's the same pattern that is on his uh, shirt. What about this desk? Anything in here? I mean, apart from the money box. No. Alright, so it could have been sneaky in here. Given that this is the second door, it would have made it quite easy. That's clearly uh, something that should open. I could try messing with the alarm button, but it seems... Uh, without any particular reason to do so, it seems a little bit risky. If at some point I've knocked out all the guards, then maybe I'll, maybe I'll try. In the meantime, let's keep exploring. I mean, presumably Kevil hasn't yet rewired it, but I don't know. I'm just guessing. Where does this take me? Is there still a staff in the area? I mean, surely not. There's... Not when there's uh, vases and stuff to, to be seen, right? The mages in the room next door have been practicing their magic non-stop for my entire stay. It's unbearably disruptive. I can't enjoy my balcony for five seconds without these disrespectful scoundrels shooting their silly spells into the air. I've asked them to stop, but they pay me no mind. Please, you must do something. If hotel management won't take care of this matter, I shall be forced to send my guards to secure some peace and quiet. Lady Valerius. Dear staff of Hilbert's High Rise Hotel, I seem to have misplaced my engagement ring during my stay at the hotel last week. The last place I recall having it was at the pool by the waterfall. If you could ensure its safe return to me, I would be ever so grateful. Sincerely, Madame McDowell, McDowell Estates, Oldale Plaza. Ring. That pool by waterfall. Alright, that's that's relevant. No doubt. Although relevant for loot purposes. Ah, oh, we're here, okay. What have we got? Oh, I'm gonna need a key for that. Do I need a do I have a key for it? Probably not. Winter Suite. Reservation name, Lady Valerius, proprietor of the old quarter opera house. Payment method, cash up front. Notes, on vacation, complains incessantly about other guests, particularly the majors. Spring Suite, reservation name Leopold, chronicler of the Hand Brotherhood. Payment method, cash paid in full at the start of each week. Notes, guests demand absolute privacy and are creating continuous noise disturbances. Summer Suite, reservation name Frederick and Penelope Rothschild. Payment method, case of diamonds to be paid after duration of stay. Notes, hosting a private banquet, banquet. In the Omega Gallery. Explicit instruction is to allow entry to anyone except the Bumblesons? Question mark. Autumn Suite. Reservation name. Brother Reginald of the Order of the Hammer. Payment method. Complimentary. Notes. On his yearly pilgrimage to the Builder's Hammer. Complimentary, you say? Well, I can't unlock this. Uh, well, let's make a note. What do I call this place? Front desk? Uh, I guess so. Uh, need key for case behind front desk. Since I can't mark it on the map. I mean, given the finite, the infinite nature of uh, this place, I can see why they don't have a map. It would be very many pages. Very many pages indeed. All right, um, onward. Chief of Staff. Oh, I think we need a key here too. Kevil is not the Chief of Staff. He's merely the janitor or something, I think. 
Captain of the Guard. Hmm. There's a guard wandering around. There's a guard standing right there who will uh, be pretty much guaranteed to see me if I try to come in. He doesn't seem to be turning around at all. Alright, well, let's. Oh, that's the guard whose footsteps I could hear. Wait, two of them. Ah. I guess I was just very lucky before. I thought there's no one in here. So where are they going, coming and going? Well, maybe I don't need to worry. Maybe I just carry on with that one. This way, because it's gold. And then this way, because that's a dead end. Oh, hello. Very good, I can look out on the roof, but uh, seems hazardous to presume to drop down there. Very hazardous indeed. Maybe I'll need to look in or out. I can't even mantle that. Okay, and I can't quite reach the other one to unlock it. the step. Not at all, but there's some gold. I don't want to be down here when the guards come back. Well, this is a good place to be when the guards come. Take note. And here we have a little lounge. It's rather oddly convoluted. And here come the guards. Let's just sit and observe. Or maybe not. They're a long way away. They're not going to bother me, right? Let's keep exploring. More locked uh, doors, and again, Kevl's key is probably not going to access this. Where's my key ring? No, it doesn't. I hear footsteps, they seem to be coming. Maybe. Maybe not. But a little bit of patience should uh, stop me getting caught. I can listen. Well, it's still a long way away, so I should probably be okay. That gets me onto a balcony. What have we got here? Three thirteen, two foggy, nothing to report. Uh, same, 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 same. Same, same. Much too foggy. Too tough and foggy. Nothing to tough and report. That's it. Kepler, you're the hold up in this process. I don't care what it takes, we need those observations. If the fog is too thick, you'll just need to find a workaround. Spring will be over imminently, so if we don't have our answer soon, it will delay the process by over nine months. We can't afford such postponement. Many things in this hotel are infinite, but my patience is not. Do not exhaust it. Meet me in the penthouse tonight to report your findings. If you don't have a more promising update, let's just say you'll have all the time in the world to com contemplate the gravity of your failings. DH. Nice, I left the uh, implied threat to throw him off the top of the uh, infinite iris. <laughs> very, very good. All right, so here we are this. Aha, now I know why I wanted to open those windows. Very, very cunning. Because I can stand on them. Can I reach this one though? To lockpick it. That's the. I couldn't reach it from below. Is this one sufficient? 
Well, not if I jump like that. Yes, it is. Ah, this is this room I couldn't get into. Okay. Some loot. And another key. Which will be this door, presumably. Storage room key, okay. And uh, crates I can't pick up. That makes me so sad. Makes me so, so sad. Let's check the beam, you know. No, no. Who in real life hides stuff on top of uh, rafters? Nobody I know of. Because nobody I know of has exposed rafters. Obviously, if they had exposed rafters, they would hide stuff there. It's, it's much too uh, tempting. All right, well, that got me in the storage room, so uh, that explains why I can open those windows and why I want to. I mean, from up here, it would also be possible to get to that roof, but I don't know. I don't think that would be a good idea. Ah, it's a good thing it's foggy or I would have to have infinite draw distance to see all the way. Right, I mean, in theory, it might be possible to jump to that roof up there. But uh, certainly not in that fashion. And I don't think in practice. I think either this damn telescope kind of get in the way yeah that's that's not gonna, that's not gonna be a thing pretty sure that's not gonna be a thing you probably need to strafe jump it and as soon as you're strafe jumping it feels like you're not you know kind of breaking what's intended quiet guard there are guards nearby somewhat nearby all right well now i have a storage room key but that's like that's not gonna get me anywhere new is it What was that along this way? Well, these are doors that were not doors, that's right. Pretty sure the guards came this way. So is, is it possible to pick lock? Oh, I don't. Mm. Well, I guess you could do this. And make that jump slightly easier. I mean, I've done it already, but I might as well. Just, you know, for the sake of completeness. Prove to myself that it can be done. All right, keep an ear out for guards. They were down that way. Oh, hello. Now that looks interesting. It's looking up business. Uh, seems like a good idea. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> Fence. Oh, metal. Well, if I close it, hopefully the sound won't carry too far. Oh. Well. Just... Ah, security room. You're not saying it's me, are you? Hang on. You're just standing there, watching this direction. Uh, it looks quite bright here. It looks dangerous for me to try and make my way down. But, I guess I should try. It's not too bright. Okay, even with the lamp right there. Benny, I appreciate your zeal for the job, but please Please don't make any more adjustments without checking with me first. While I, agree, while I agree that it's the last place a thief would think to look, we need to protect more than just the cash box key here. For Taft's sake, we've got an entire gallery of priceless artifacts upstairs, and your little stunt shut down our entire security system for the sake of one clever hiding spot. So please, I implore you, no more foolishness. If you can't demonstrate better judgement in the future, we'll have to find someone else to do your work. In the meantime, please see to it that the guard duty is doubled on the gallery suites level. Hmm. Last place the thief would think to lock. Look for the cash box key. Shut down security system for the sake of one clever hiding spot. <laughs> Adjustments. I. Uh, I don't know. What did he adjust and where? 
Oh, hello. Is it money? Anything in your waste paper basket? No. Anything under your desk? Also, apparently, no. Benny's. This is Benny's desk, okay. Uh, so, what am I going to note down? Cash box key. Shut down security system. Clever hiding spots. Adjustments. I don't really know what that's referring to, but maybe it will come become more obvious later. Right, anywhere else I could get for while well, I'm up here? Yeah, not really. All right. So that smell you were complaining about, man, is about to go away again. Good, I can just mantle that. Because I can't crouch in here, it's not quite high enough for me to stand. So I'm going to make a noise when I come down. Unless I'm careful to land on the table. <sighs> Alright, well that got me into the security office, but it didn't get me any new keys. Um, in particular, it didn't get me the security office key. Oh no, the security office wasn't locked. The door opposite the security office was locked. Right, so there are guards coming this way. Or patrolling in this area. Alright, well I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll join me soon for the next episode.